only on 11 Alive, months after a woman was shot multiple times inside a Coweta County hotel. She's sharing those terrifying moments that changed her life forever. In seconds, you know, because one man decided he wanted to play God. One man. And she hopes her story will help someone walk away from a bad relationship before it's too late. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn talked with the survivor today. And Cody, this is unbelievable. I mean, she's luckily, lucky to be alive. Yeah, no doubt indeed. I can tell you, Nikayla Canada is a fighter. And even as she continues to recover, as you're about to see, she's not letting her limitations hold her back. My name is Nikayla Canada. Um, I'm sitting here because on May 11th, you know, I got shot five times by my fiance. That was the scariest night of my life. A rocky relationship, Nikayla Canada says, finally hit a tipping point. I was going to leave him. Canada says on May 11th, tempers flared inside their hotel room in Noonan. We got into it. We got into a little altercation. The two left the room. It was apart for hours, you know, probably about like three hours. But then a decision by Canada would end up being a life-changing one. You know, I'm thinking everything's chill. Things were far from chill. Canada and her fiance returned to the hotel room. I sat down, the next thing you know, I heard sounds. It was just boom. I turned around and saw him shooting at me. I literally saw the gun, the fire, everything. Canada says she fell off the bed. I was crawling. I was like army crawling through the room, screaming, throwing stuff at the wall, hoping somebody would hear me. She only had minutes to get help. I said this man would not be the reason why I died. Help finally came. Canada was rushed to the hospital. I was on life support for um, about a good two weeks. And I remember the first thing I did was look at my legs and I just started crying. A young woman who hopes her experience will help others walk away before it's too late. Women have died from men wanting to kill you because you don't want to be with them no more. Just walk away. Just, just go. Bye. Bye. Canada's focus now is on healing. I tell myself that I'm temporary in this chair. As of now, Nikayla can't walk on her own. She reminded me and hopefully all of you tonight just how much we all take for granted on a daily basis. Nikayla has a long road to recovery, and I'll share more on that at 11alive.com.